What's up everybody, it's Gerasol here, and I'm going to be showing you how I beat the entire game of Minecraft Dungeons on Apocalypse 6. So, just to show you what my weapon does, let's go over to the test dummy here, and let's go at normal speed. Look at how much damage I do, and look at how much it heals me. Now let's go over here, let's eat our mushroom, and look at how much damage this does to the test dummy. So, if you want to know what I got, stick around for this video, and I will show you everything that I have, and how to acquire everything that is in this video in order for you to be able to beat the game successfully on Apocalypse 6 with your friends. So let me pull up the class system here. So the first thing I'm going to show you are the gauntlets that I use. These are actually the unique version. These are the fighter's bindings. And what's so important about these is that they actually boost your attack speed. So they hit fast. And let me show you those in comparison to these over here. So these soul fists over here, you get this ugly... At the end of that combo, you see how it goes and it uppercuts and it... yeah. You don't want that. That's too slow. Too slow. So let me pull out my fighter's bindings. So look at this. It never does that uppercut that is unnecessary. It just keeps going at a fast speed. So you go over to the test dummy. And that's normal speed, guys. But keep in mind that my beautiful armor helps with 25% melee attack speed. But anyway, so for the fighter's bindings, let's go over to the enchantments. For the first one, I have smiting. This could easily be replaced with critical hits which is good but the most important things that you want on these fighters bindings are swirling and radiance and however you can get these is good uh, let me show you the map and the one place that I went through over and over again that helped me get through it was over here soggy cave if you keep doing that level over and over again you can get a chest if you do it on the highest level you can you get a chest and you have the best chance of getting these fighters bindings so let's go over to the armor next this armor is the spider armor you can find it usually over here at uh, redstone mines and the thing that's special about this armor it has a three percent lifesteal aura which is not necessary it's just a plus but the only thing that is necessary is the radiance of these spiders bindings because without it I'd be dead in seconds but anyway this spider armor I have gravity pulse final shout and chilling on it these are all good they can easily be replaced the only one that is not replaceable is final shout because it is important ladies and gentlemen if you get hurt you can turn on any of the artifacts that I'm going to show you in a second, and it'll save you. So, for the crossbow that I have, it's interchangeable with another one I'm about to show you, but the one that I use is the imploding crossbow, and it's special because it pulls in the enemies. It actually has gravity in it as a special perk, so you don't have to get it as an enchantment. You can have an extra, stuff, extra slot there for the enchantments. So for the enchantments on this, I have Chain Reaction, I have Accelerate, which is not necessary. You can just have the faster one, and Ricochet. Ricochet is actually pretty cool because if it explodes and it has a Chain Reaction, it just ricochets all over the walls, and it kills everything, guys. So let me show you the other crossbow that you can use that is also unique. Let me go over to it. It's this one right here, the fire bolt thrower. This one's good because it has a chance of chain reaction, which is it's actually good as well, but I prefer the gravity because it gets them all where you want them. So for the artifacts, the first artifact that is important, it's the most important one, is the death cap mushroom, guys. The death cap mushroom takes it from what I'm about to show you here. And you get this normal speed here to this. See how much better that is, guys? And it the higher level you get it the better because it just lasts that much longer so for the second artifact that I'm about to show you is a totem of regeneration this one here is good because if you have final shout on your armor and you are about to die this will give you a quick hot fix and help you get more health on your level or health whatever I'm sorry scrap what I said but anyway the third artifact that I'm about to show you is the ghost cloak the ghost cloak is important because if you want to just speed run through anything you could literally just run through and i'll show you everything in action right now at obsidian pinnacle which is the place that everybody wants to be because it is the hardest level there is in a second i'm about to jump in and i'm about to beat that boss like nothing i might die maybe once or twice but believe me i will get you guys that beautiful cutscene if you want to see it anyway let's get right into obsidian pinnacle so you already know we're hopping right in and we're gonna get this game over and done with you guys will see how amazing all these tools are that I am showing you. And if you guys have any questions or need clarification on anything that I'm showing you guys in this video, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, but I promise I'll get back to every single one of you with a question. But if you want to see more content like this, make sure you leave a like on this video. 
and make sure you subscribe. I will upload as much as I can. I have a new setup. I have everything that I need, so I'll be uploading much more. I'm going to be uploading Minecraft Dungeons. I'm going to be uploading Modern Warfare. All that good stuff, so stick around for it. Anyway, let's get through with this level. So you see how easily I took out that big guy on Apocalypse 6? Come on. He's nothing to me. So I took out that Librarian as well. Taking out this guy too. If I want to just speed run through this, I can. I could just take this, go through, and just jump down here. See? Anytime these guys hit me, Radiance takes care of me. That's the most important part. If I just start hitting them and I didn't have Radiance, I'd be dead so quick. So let's get through these guys. Pretty easy, pretty easy. Which way am I supposed to go? I believe this way. Nope, just kidding, it's this way. I'm a bot sometimes, but it's okay because I'm gonna beat the game right in front of you guys. And you guys are all gonna love me for it. The only thing about this armor is that it has gravity. It makes it a little harder to speedrun, but if I ever get stuck, see, final shout. That would just save me. Let's get through. I don't even need to kill these guys, but I just do it for the, you know, for the fun of it. Let's take that potion. See, look at that ghost cloak. Look at that ghost cloak. I just ran through everybody. If I need health, I just go ahead and hit stuff just to get my health back. And then I jump here. Let's get this level over with so we can show you how amazing everything is. And let's throw that TNT there. Just in case they spawn. Let's go take care of the librarians first. And all these guys are literally just a couple seconds before they die. No big deal. Oh. That was not intentional at all, guys. But it's okay. I'm still alive and I got all my health back. That's me on the death cap mushroom. So look at all this. Look at that, you guys. They're all dead so quick. No challenge. Okay, then let's go over this way and power all the beacons that need to be powered. Let's take care of these guys. Look at how fast I maul through everybody. Oh, they even dropped me a hammer. How sweet. So let's turn on this beacon. Let's just take care of those guys for a little bit. Let's power this beacon. Let's get through these guys. We don't even need the supplies, but we take them. Just for the arrows. At the end of this game. Okay, let's run through. Going through this, we're gonna see a redstone golem. And just to show you guys how it works on a boss. Let's go over here. Look at how easy. I don't even have to move. I just hold A. Just look at him. And he's dead. Just like that, guys. You can just imagine how much of a breeze the final boss is gonna be. Let's run through another redstone golem. Let's get this pig over here. Okay, evocation rope, not bad, not bad. Let's get through with this redstone golem. You see how amazing that final shot is? It's just so good. There we go. Let's get through with that shadow. Let's go here. Run through. Another redstone golem, but fret not because it is so easy just to kill these guys. Look at that, he's dead already. Doesn't even know what hit him. Does not even know what hit him. Let's run through. There we go. Okay, we're here now. Let's go. Over here, and you see these guys, they want to chase you around. You don't even have to hit them. Just ghost cloak them. And if you must, just take care of them real quick. Look at all these guys. You want to just line them up? Look at how easy that was. 
No biggie. Oh. That was not intentional, but at least the game saved us. <laughs> Let's get through. Just take care of him. Another redstone golem. No big deal. How? What? What? That was not part of the plan, redstone golem. But it's okay. We're still gonna beat this up by ourselves, too. Okay, he's dead. Picked up a great hammer. It's fine. Happens to the best of us. Okay, we jump in three. We're not dead. We don't die, guys. Let's just let that TNT do center to work. And then we're getting close to these guys. Just take some health back. We're almost there at the end. Maybe like one more minute. Let, let us take care of this real quick. There we go. They're all behind me. No need to worry. There we go. We're up and we're at the final boss, guys. So we are here. We're ready to win this. Show you guys that beautiful cutscene. Get this game over with so you guys can enjoy the rest of the day with your friends. Okay. Look at that. Look at how easy he dies. And if he gets further, just shoot him. Just shoot him. Just hit him. That was very loud. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, he died. For the first time, so the second time, we're gonna want to hit him as much as we can before he starts shooting his laser beams. Oh, that's why we don't want to let him hit. <laughs> Okay, he's dead. Just like that, guys. Just like that. We died once during this boss battle. How many times did you guys die? Don't worry, because now you're not going to die any longer with this setup that I just showed you. All of it was equally important to what I did. And now we get this wondrous cutscene where we get... The Arch Illager, the enemy of the villagers, was defeated. Great heroes saved the day and vanquished evil. Dance party time! We did it! We did it! Anyway, probably like my 10th time doing it, but I just wanted to show you guys all the stuff that I had. It oh. wasn't. Minecraft Dungeons 2, ladies and gentlemen, coming summer 2050! I'm just kidding, guys. I have no idea when it's coming out, but it's just a joke. I think there's DLC coming out July 1st and September 1st, but make sure you buy the Hero Edition so you get everything. Okay, so now we're traveling back to camp. Anyways, guys, this concludes the video. I just wanted to show you guys how effective the stuff that I have is. And I wanted to tell you guys where you could acquire it. So just to recap, you get the gauntlets from Soggy Cave. And you get the armor from Redstone Mines. And you get the crossbow from Redstone Mines as well. 
If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like on it. And if you guys want to see future content, make sure you subscribe. Turn on that bell for notifications. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day like this wonderful week. Peace.